Assalamu alaikum dear students hope so you are fine in taking precautionary measures that you are supposed to take nowadays so grade 3 this is your uh, reading book smart science 3 open page number 1 today uh, i am going to explain chapter number 1 this chapter is divided in two parts uh, factors required to sustain life on earth and the uh, habitat so in this lesson i am going to tell you about factors so this is our chapter number 1 earth as a living planet earth as a living planet what that mean this means that there are so many planets in our solar system but earth is the only single planet in which we can live in which life is possible we can only live only on earth because life is only present over there so let's start reading with me we have a beautiful planet underline the word planet p l a n e t planet earth where we see many plants and animals living together what does this mean this means earth is the only planet in which plants and many different animals can live you can take help from this picture you can see there are a lot of animals and you can see there are so many birds there are so many plants there are so many different uh, trees there are uh, there are so many mountains what does this mean this means they are all living together and their life is possible why their life is possible it's because earth is the only planet in which we have some important factors and these factors are not present on other planets so let's discuss these factors factors required to sustain life on earth underline the word required r e q u i r e d required means the thing that we need the factors that we need to maintain life on earth underline the word sustain s u s t a i n sustain what is the meaning of sustain sustain means maintain what do living things need to survive what do living things need to survive there are number of factors that support life on earth for example temperature light water air and soil so these are the factors underline the words temperature light water air and soil so these one two three four five these five are the important factors that i'm going to explain you one by one Number one is temperature. T E M P E R A T U R E temperature. Temperature means how cold or hot something is. Plants and animals need to live in a particular temperature. Underline the word particular. Particular means a proper. P A R T I C U L A R particular temperature. If the surrounding become too hot or too cold, plants and animals will die the distance of the earth from the sun is most appropriate underline the word appropriate appropriate means a double p r o p r i a t e appropriate means proper to sustain life on earth what is the explanation of these two lines in these lines we get to know that uh, plants and animals need to live in a particular temperature if the temperature is too much hot or temperature is too much cold so it is not possible for the plants and animals to survive so for the survival of plants and animals the temperature must be particular temperature must be normal otherwise the life of the plants and animals are not possible so the distance of the earth from the sun is most appropriate appropriate to sustain life on earth so what does this mean this means if this sun will be in this position so definitely this will die and this animal will also die so for the proper life the distance is also very important from the sun because we can get sunlight with the with appropriate distance now just switch to page number two our next factor is light so light is the main source of uh, sun is the main source of light and heat on earth what does this mean this means sun is the main source of energy we can get light and heat only from the sun sun is the source to provide light and heat if there were no sun there would be no heat and light so just imagine uh, there is no sun and you get up early in the morning and there is no sun so how how your surrounding will be 
so sun is very important for the plants sun is very important for the human beings and everything if there is no sun then definitely there will be no heat and there will be no light plants will not grow and animals would not be able to food yes if there will be no sun so how plants prepare their food because plants prepare their food with the help of sunlight so if there is no sunlight so it is not possible for the plants to prepare their food and if there will be no food then it's not possible for the animals to survive because animals can get their food from the plants and then our next factor is water as you know all water is also very important not for the plants but also for the human beings also for the animals plants need water to make their food yes plants need water to make their own food if there will be no water then it's not possible for the plants to prepare their food animals can't survive without water the bodies of plants and animals contain a large amount of water yes the bodies of plants and animals contain large amount of water so if there will be no water then definitely plants cannot survive and if any and animals can also not survive if they both are not survive then we can also dependent on the plants and animals for our food so the human beings will also die so plant is very uh, water is very important not for the plants but also for the human beings and also for the animals and next our uh, factor is air as you know all air is also very important air is important for living things all living things need air to breathe while plants also need it to make their own food just imagine yourself if there will be no air surrounding you so can you take breath no it's not possible for you to breathe so air is not only important for the human beings and animals while plants also need air to make their own food if there will be no air so it's not possible for the plants to prepare their food and then soil soil is also very important if there is no soil then it is not possible for the plants to grow soil is necessary underline the word necessary n e c e w s a r y it means important as all plants grow in it many small animals and insects live in soil for example ants live in soil and rabbits make burrows in soil b u w r o w s this is the this is what we call the house of the rabbit okay so soil is very important many plants and insects can live in the soil this is the habitat of the uh, pl many plants and animals and you can say plants can't live without soil the thing that we put like we put seed in the soil and after some times the plant will grow in the soil so soil is very important so all these are factors are very important even if single factor is missing then it's not possible for the uh, uh, earth to be as a living planet so on page number 4 you can answer few questions verbally enlist the environmental factors that support life on earth so we have discussed five factors and these factors are temperature light water air and soil so these are the factors that are that support life on earth okay so how do plants in this way you can answer this question and this question how do plants make their food so plants make their food with the help of sunlight okay so i made this chain for your assistant you can see uh, earth is a living planet in this you can see how sun is important how sun transfers its, in its energy towards the plants and how then plants transfer its energy towards the next thing and then the next thing you can see sun sunlight sun is the main source of heat and light as i told you so sunlight from sunlight transfer its energy towards the plants yes now here plants get energy from the sunlight this arrow head shows the flow of energy how energy transfers from one thing to another thing so plants get energy from the sunlight and prepare their food and then this energy transfers to the animals animals means these two animals you can see here is a camel and you can see here is a cow or bull so you can see these animals get their food from the plants these are herbivores as we have discussed in uh, early classes herbivores can only eat plants so you can see they are dependent on 
this fruit this 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 is plant so energy of plant is transferred to the animals and we are and these are carnivores and this omnivores omnivores eat on both they get energy from this and this you can see we eat meat and we also eat plants so we get energy from both these two things so what is the uh, purpose of explaining this chain the purpose of this how energy flows from one thing to another the energy plants get energy from the sunlight and then these animals get energy from this food and we get energy from both these two things so this is the flow of energy just imagine if there will be no plants so this area is missing so how these animals can get their food so this chain is very important even if single factor is missing if single thing is missing then this chain will break just imagine if there will be no sun so how we can get how plants prepare their food then definitely plants will be no more and if there will be no plants then animal will be die and if there will be no animals then we as a human being we cannot survive because there will be no food for us so for the proper chain this all these things are very important hopefully you get my lecture and if you feel any difficulty if you have any question just ask us in our comment section thank you allah face